Hey YouTube family and friends, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to sow pepper seeds. That's right, it's now time for me to uh, go ahead and get them in. So I'm gonna give you some tips. First thing, now I have my Happy Frog mix already in here. I think that's one of the best mixes for me and it may be for you and I'll drop a link in the description to everything that I'm using so that you have access. But this Happy Frog mix is gonna help me to keep these uh, plants growing the entire time until it's time for me to uh, pot them outside. Now with the Happy Frog mix, I take a strainer and I sift my soil. All right, so I wanna get all the big chunks of the brie, which are the uh, wood chips, the mulch. I wanna clear all that out the way. And over here is the uh, remaining parts of that mulch. I got loads of it right here. And just look how big these chunks are. So just imagine if I got these little pepper seeds trying to fight through the uh, mulch, it's not gonna happen. So you're gonna s go ahead and get rid of the big pieces of mulch, and you may have a little small pieces in here, but that's the first tip. Sift that soil so that you don't have anything blocking these seeds. So keep that in mind. All right, the seeds that I have, I, that I'm gonna be sowing, I have the uh, Corolla de Cocina. I also have the uh, Habanata right here. And these are heirloom seeds. And I also have the Violet Sparkle. All right, so I will link my video of my heirloom seeds so that you can see all the new varieties that I am going to plant this year. It should be fun. Now I'm gonna start with the Corolla de Cocina. Now, first thing you wanna do is I wanna make sure I put my seeds in, of course, but I'm going to put anywhere from two to three seeds in each one because I wanna make sure that I have a good chance of getting at least one seed to uh, germinate. All right, now once all three seeds or two seeds come up, you can go ahead and clip the weakest one and you can just only have one in here per pot. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you could try to carefully uh, dig up the uh, roots and transplant these. I might try to do that since these are the uh, seeds that uh, I purchased, these heirloom seeds. I wanna try to make sure I get my money's worth, but I don't wanna be too greedy and mess everything up. All right, the habanada seeds are next. Let me go ahead and get my handful and we'll go ahead and hit these off real quick and we'll be moving right along. Now, I've already uh, labeled the uh, seeds, so you wanna make sure that you do label them because they are gonna look the same once they uh, come, start to sprout out, sprout up. So make sure it's real important that you label your seeds or you're not gonna know what you have until later on. All right, to finish up, we have the uh, Violet Sparkle. And we're just gonna repeat the same process. Two to three seeds in each uh, pot. All right, we're almost finished. I went ahead and I put some uh, jalapeno peppers on this side, and I put some sweet peppers on this uh, row right here. And like I said, it's already been labeled. Now, when you're talking about sowing your seeds, you wanna make sure that you sow your seeds anywhere from eight to 10 weeks before the, your frost date. So my frost date is April the 1st. So I probably should have been doing this yesterday or the day before that, but I'm still in that window. So eight to 10 weeks, that's when you wanna make sure that you get them in before your uh, frost date. And you'll be good to go. All right, so that part is done. So let me go ahead and take you to the next step. So now we wanna keep the seeds moist. So go ahead and spray the seeds just like this. All right, make sure we get the seeds pretty moist because we that's one thing that they need to be moist during this process to help with germination. Now what I do, I don't put any soil on top of it. I use my vermiculite. That's what I'm gonna use as the uh, soil and it's the very fine vermiculite. 
And like I said, down in the description, I will have a link to all the things that I use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over the seeds. And this is one of my tips so that these teeny seeds can just lightly push through this uh, vermiculite and it's gonna act as the uh, soil. So this is uh, one of my game changing tips that I like to use. All right, so all I'm gonna do is finish up, brush you in close so we family, get it in good. And we'll go to the next step. All right, I just finished putting the vermiculite on top to cover my seeds. So I'm just gonna spray it down a little bit more so that the vermiculite does not fly away when I put it on the uh, grow station and I start using my fan. But we'll talk about that once these things come up. All right, so I don't wanna overdo it, but I wanna get it moist. All right. Now, one thing that I'm going to use, I'm not going to do it today, I'll do it tomorrow. Or you can do it when the uh, seeds germinate. You want to take, I don't have enough of it, you want to take your ground cinnamon and you want to spray over the vermiculite. And this is going to keep all the fungus at bay. This is an antifungal. And once I apply, if I um, see that there's, there's an issue, I can just put it more down and it's not gonna harm the uh, plants. It's gonna help fight the uh, fungus. So just make sure you have your ground cinnamon. I'm about out of this, but this is a game changer for me. This is a tip that I always use because it helps me fight the fungus. Now, when it comes to getting these seeds to germinate, I think it is critical to use a heat mat. Now, this is a cheap, Heat mat, I don't have the one with the uh, thermometer on, but you can get that if you want to. This works just uh, fine. I may do that in the future, but all I'm gonna do is when I put it on my grow rack, I'm gonna put it up underneath and I'm gonna cut this bad boy on. And then right now I'm gonna take my humidity dome and I'm gonna put it on top. And with the humidity dome, you have the uh, pockets where you let air in, you don't, you don't want this to uh, be without air. So you wanna make sure that you leave it open right here at the top. So you don't wanna create an uh, uh, environment for fungus. All right, so I always leave those open. And at some part in some time in the day, I will take this off and let it breathe even more. And then I'll put it back on. Once the seeds germinate, you take this off. That is important. Now, if you use these tips, they're gonna help you get the germination process going. And I almost forgot, these trays are from Bootstrap Farmer. I had these for three years now. They are nice and sturdy. And once I buy it, I don't have to worry about it because they're gonna last me for a long time. But it'll be down in the description. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not a member of this wonderful community. and I'm going to be back later on once these things sprout up to show you how to uh, keep them in good care. All right, this is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my channel. I'll see you next time. And 